Hello everyone, today's game is against some guy by the name of Learn to Dilger and I am NBZ and I was supposed to upload this earlier than I should have done and I'm going to upload it now on Sunday because I can and that is how I do, it's in my power to do so. So I have the team here which is the team of Jirachis, Hoffos and Deoxes and all the good people and I haven't watched this through because I need to upload this now so I'm going to watch it now. Anyway, um, lead off with Rachi. And he's going to lead off with Rotom Wash. I'm thinking maybe a Trick Scarf set, but most likely just a Scarf are going to go for the Vault Switch off the bat. So that's exactly what he does. He goes for the Vault Switch. And knowing that he probably is going to do that, I can feel safe either setting up one Calm Mind or I can set up a Substitute. So I go for the Sub first, thinking, um, <clears throat> you know, if something like Jalicent comes in, want to try and Scald Burn me, then having the Sub up is going to be much more beneficial than having a Calm Mind up. So uh, I'm going to have the Calm Mind now, um, and then hopefully be able to take a Scald hit um, with the Substitute still intact. Because as long as the Sub is still intact, it means I can set up a second Calm Mind, then set up another Sub, and uh, kind of start, you know, doing some early game some early game sweeping. Uh, I've, I've seen a couple of guys on his team who are potentially threatening to Jirachi, so I know that I'm not going to get a complete sweep out of it, but, um, you know, I can try. And um, he's actually going to stop me dead in my tracks because he carries Taunt on his Jalicent, which is interesting, I guess. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be able to allow him to get around the fact that I have sub and I have Calm Mind with uh, bringing in something, I guess, that's more physically offensive that can uh, take me down and uh, fortunately for him he's going to live a plus two T-Bolt from Jirachi but uh, uh, unfortunately the, the school's not going to be able to break my sub still so my slub my slub yes my slub is uh, holding on with a smidgen and, and uh Wow, I'm getting out of breath here, I don't know why. Uh, kind of going a bit too fast today, you know. Um, but I'm, I would go for the Psychic, thinking that uh, if he wants to switch, it's probably to something that will take a T-Bolt nicely, and therefore Psychic will be more preferable. But in comes a Jirachi, and uh, he looks to be a similar kind of set to me. Um, he's, uh, he's running lefties, and uh, I'm guessing that if he's packing a special attack, then it's going to be uh, you know a special offensive one. Not offensive, but special de defensive one like mine. But it's not. It's a uh, uh, physically attacking one with Body Slam, the one that lots of people have been using. And, uh, you know, I get the spec D drop with the Psychic on the Switch in, which is kind of nice. I guess Serene Grace uh, makes up for the fact that uh, it's, uh, you know, existence or whatever. Uh, I'm not even making sense. But 247 HP, look, 247 HP. Uh, Rachi is, I managed to get the sub up. And now he can't break my sub. So Rachi is doing work here. I don't know why, but 90% of the time I use this team, Rachi ends up just like subbing. Can't mind killing things. I don't know why. It just does. It's what Rachi does. His name's Rachi. Kills things. His job. And he does it well. So I'm going to go for the T-Bot predicting uh, him to either stay in or to uh, potentially switch into something uh, which would take uh, one of those things or something. I'm not even making sense right now. But in comes Goku, which is an Infernape, which I call mine as well because, you know, it's a you know, generic name to the win. And uh, Life Orb U-Turn uh, is going to be able to take me out. So it's nice to get that kind of initiative, I guess, to know that he's a Life Orb variant and not a Choice Band or Scarfer. So uh, I do have that slight, uh, that good thing going for me. If he does want to bring it in again, uh, I know that I'm going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be good for me to stay in because he can threaten me out with a uh, Flare Blitz or something of that that nature. So uh, obviously the, the, the favourable move for him to go to here is to go back to his Goku, try and force me out, and I am scared away because I do not want to die to uh, a Fire Fire Punch slash uh, Flare Blitz slash whatever the hell he wants to go for. But uh, he's going to predict my switch, uh, which is relatively nice. And he's going to go for the close combat, uh, which I guess does less than a Flare Blitz would. But it's going to benefit him in the fact that he gets to take off around half my HP, but he still has his health. Um, as opposed to if he went for a Flare Blitz uh, and then taking down Recoil as well as Life Orb Recoil, which would bring him into a not very nice area, I guess. But um, he's going to switch out, U-turn uh, out, in fact, to his uh, his Rotom. As I just lay down my rocks, it's kind of mid-game, but uh, getting rocks out whenever is good. So I might as well take my chance while I have it, and uh, I do. I get rocks out, so... Uh, I think he's uh, going to want to go for the uh, Volt Switch again. So, not the Volt Switch. Why would he Volt Switch? It's fucking... I have Donphan in. Anyway, uh, ignore my stupidity. I go to Rachi 
kind of as fodder because I'm thinking, you know, I, I don't really know what movies want to go for. And I didn't want him predicting my switch and going for the vault switch as I went to Sophos. So I guess I went to Rachi as a pivot switch to uh, test the waters, lol, because he's hydropumping. And uh, also to find out, you know, uh, which whether I should switch Sophos in or not. And it turns out that I do need to switch him in. Take the hydro pump beautifully and uh, hit a hypnosis onto whatever the hell wants to come in. Or if you wanted to stay in with Rotom, just hit that with a with a hypnosis. So in comes Jirachi. Do manage to get that thing asleep because I'm knocked out. I don't miss hypnosises unless it's raining. You know this this is a rule of knocked out and Sophos and stuff. So um it's it's good to to get that thing um get that thing asleep and now I'm going to start my whirlwinding tactics um, it is uh, I guess uh, the best thing for me to do at this point I have stealth rock on the field so shuffling his team getting that residual damage is probably the best thing I can do at this point added to the fact that every time his Jirachi comes in it's going to be taking that uh, you know reset sleep turns so I'm going to get a guaranteed whirlwind off every time Jirachi is in but uh, I decide to go for the nightshade on this turn um, mainly because I wanted Rachi to be at a more killable or revengeable range when it eventually came in, but um, uh, Nightshade does hit the Rotom, and uh, I know he's most likely going to go for a Volt Switch on this turn, um, but uh, looking at how little that did, Sophos, you're a monster! Freaking stab, super effective Volt Switch, and it does that much to something that is weak to it. Sophos, I bow down to your glory, I, I really do. So uh, I actually managed to set up a Roost on that turn, I was predicting uh, either the T-Bolt or the Volt Switch, either one I knew I could take, uh, T-Bolt would be less favourably taken, but Volt Switch, uh, I'm able to take it, and Roost back to full. So um, I'm going to go into Don Fan. Obvious Stone Edge is obvious. So, um, you know, best thing to take. 247 HP again? Really? What's up with this man? Bally, 247 HP twice in one game. What's going on? Uh, this that, That's a reference that one person is going to get. Everyone else in the comments is just like, what? Anyway, uh, uh, I'm going to die to... Uh, that was an Overheat, right? Yeah, he's running Mix Ape. He's running a weird Mix Ape, though, um, with Overheat and uh, Close Combat Stone Edge and U-Turn. So, physically based mixed, um, which is interesting. That's cool. Uh, so, uh, Azumarill comes in, Aqua Jet, clean his face off. It's Aqua Jet. It does work. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that's the name of the game. That's Azumarill. That's how he rolls. And in comes Thunderous. Obviously, I took this game before Thunderous was banned, so don't go trolling the guy because it was legal when we played this match. So, um, yeah, it's, it's fine. There's no problem with it. But uh, I'm hoping it's a Life Orb variant because if it, if it is a Life Orb variant, it's going to kill itself off eventually. Um, and it turns out it is. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, though, because I do have Hitmonchan left, who, as everyone knows, is the greatest man of a uh, Hitmon of a Chan who ever lived, who has the Mac Punch, can take out the Tor, the Thunderous. Why do I keep saying Tornadus? The uh, Thunderous with the Mac Punch. And uh, now we're just going to go sweep in. It's time to sweep up um, Mac Punch. Punch the Rotom, hit that thing in the uh, drum, the, the the water drum, and take it out. And uh, finally, finally in comes Jirachi, which is guaranteed one turn of sleep, so I wouldn't be able to get off a Drain Punch. If Drain Punch happens to not kill it, then I do have the Mac Punch in uh, in hand, uh, and uh, it, it does happen that way that Drain Punch doesn't kill it. And on the off chance that he wakes up on this turn, I want to get the Mac Punch off to take him out and uh, finish the game with a cleaner. Uh, clean kill what I thought I went for the Mac punch dude okay apparently I don't go for the Mac punch but I take the body slam like a monster don't get paralyzed drain punch him and uh, yeah there's the game why, why did I, I thought I went for the Mac punch I guess I thought Mac punch wouldn't KO him from that range so I went for the drain punch set. but doesn't matter as a game and uh, yeah uh, blah, 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 blah. So check out my Twitter, my Facebook, my Tumblr pages. All three of the links will be in the description uh, below because you love the description. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more time. And all I'm going to say is, my little Tony, my little Tony. And that is going to be the video. So goodbye.